Hello and welcome to this introductory video for the Rock Suite of OpenWorks Project Data Management Tools. These tools are for data managers and GNG users who are confident enough to provide some self-help. You will see they are listed under separate discipline tabs and primarily consist of data loading and data cleanup utilities. Many of the tools utilize an OpenWorks reference project that contains corporate agreed naming conventions and standards for various data types and is used not only for referencing but for data and standards population and distribution as well. For example, if we start Curve Dictionary Transfer from the Distribution tab, you can see an example reference project which we can use to compare against a target production project and insert missing data or update existing data where it differs from the reference project. Incidentally, the ROC tool interfaces have been designed to be simple and easy to understand by ordering steps or locating buttons in logical progression. So the Curve Dictionary Transfer tool populates a target project or projects with curve names from the reference project. So here we can choose multiple SIDs and multiple OpenWorks projects. Under Setup, we can choose either the Curve Dictionary or an alias list and click on transfer. Then as with all the tools you are able to roll back the changes or permanently commit them to the database. So that was an example of how easy it is using ROC distribution tools to import a reference curve dictionary to a target project. In addition to dictionaries it is also possible to transfer R and VC tables we are now in a position to identify log curves in the target project that do not conform to reference data standards or naming conventions. So under the tool tab we'll find log cleanup and double click to open it. At the top of the window here we see our reference project and previous target project are already filled in. And under setup we have the choice of selecting all wells or a well list if desired. If we highlight illegal logs and then click on select, we get a list of all the illegal logs in the project. On the end column, you'll see a data count of curve values. If we click on that, rather like Excel, it'll sort it in a numerical order. So now we can highlight all the log curves without any data values, and we can just simply delete those. So I'll say OK and delete. Now that's removed from the database, empty log curves. Next we can select again, but this time I'm just going to select a single log curve name here, Fred Synthesize, and say OK. I'm now going to move it to a new name along with its associated data points. So here we can see it has Fred Synthesize selected. If I click on Manual here, and change this to SYN. Here I can see ASYNC size. So I'll select that and say move or move and delete which will re remove the thread synth size from the database as well as moving and renaming. So to clarify the move just performed has taken every data item attached to the illegal name and moved it to one from the reference project along with all associated data. No data has been changed or deleted and users can carry on their interpretations and use of the data just under the new correct name. To view a full log of all the changes just made you can click on this icon up here. Now let's look at a similar tool, Stratigraphic Cleanup. Instead of using Reference Project it looks at the strat columns in the project we're working on. Here we're able to select a SID, or SIDs if we had more than one, and an OpenWorks project that we want to work on. And then surface choice, so surface is not in strat columns. So we see picks and grid counts against each surface name on the left. If I click on pick count, again, it'll sort numerically. So if we choose print GP here, 714 separate data items against it. Click on OK and click on Move. I'm going to change the manual again. 
and truncate this down to the word print and for the sake of argument click on print GP base and, and here I say move and delete down here you can see a list of pending changes so 715 and again we can click in the log window to see a full list of everything that's happened so all, all the tables that contained the surface name have been updated from the incorrect name to the valid name Included in the stratigraphic cleanup tool is the ability to display strat columns in the OpenWorks project. Now we have our surfaces correctly named. Using PIC Data Source Manager, we can address problems such as data duplication, where the same PIC exists for multiple interpreters. By data source, we are of course referring to the OpenWorks interpreter ID name. So firstly I'm going to choose a well list where I'll choose all and then the wells in that well list again I'll select all and for my data source I'm going to choose hyena so we have three options one to show matches with the official and what this will show is duplications in the services owned by Hyena, where we will probably just want to delete them. As you can see, the depths here are exactly the same. So in this case, we'll just select all. And we have the choice of delete selected owned by Hyena, or delete selected owned by Ophic. Obviously, we would delete the ones owned by Hyena. Secondly, we can show non-matches so these will be services owned by Hyena or not existing for Orphic. And here we would make a decision whether to change the owner to Orphic from Hyena. And thirdly, we have the choice to show all matches. And this will show us the same surface IDs, surface names, owned by multiple data sources. And this usually requires a team effort to decide which services to keep and which services to remove. More than often, this tool is being run by data management and an asset team involvement is required for decision making. So data can be exported with a choice of output. I'm going to choose Excel and just view it rather than save it. So here you can see what we've seen on the screen and obviously this can be printed and then used for decision making by the data manager. Until so now, we've cleaned up our big data sources. Now we've made some improvements to the data in our OpenWorks projects, we can check the overall quality of data by running the Audit Report tool. This tool is found under the Report tab and has the ability to fix many of the errors it finds. Once the tool starts, click the Generate Report button on the left and eventually you'll be presented by color-coded statistics, red for critical errors, blue for non-critical and green for error-free. These figures for data quality and data completeness are what we want to improve upon. You see here in this OpenWorks project we have wells missing CRSs with a count of 14, wells with null service locations, again 14, wells with null depth datum, a count of 48 there. If we scroll down to faults with zero segments, we can click on show results and we can launch the rock tool to fix this problem. So this is Seismic Fault Manager. What we can do here is make sure we click on Show Only Faults with Zero Segments, simply select all, and delete. Now I have the ability to either commit that to the database or roll it back. And as this is a training database, I'll roll it back. But you see how easy it is to fix many of the problems in your OpenWorks database. We can now have a look at log curves missing units of measure. We can launch update curve units and click on run. And here it's updating all the curves that are missing units of measurement and it's updating with values from the reference project. Again I can roll back or commit. In this case I'll roll back again and exit.
Now let's look at duplicate logs. Click on the Show Results button, bring up the duplicate logs window, and launch the Project Compare tool. So we're going to select our SID, and we're going to select an OpenWorks project, and we're going to make sure we have duplicates mode switched on. I'm going to select a well list, I'll select all. Say OK and then select the wells in that well list. Again, I'm going to select all and say OK. And then I'm going to press calculate. So now I can say keep last and delete selected. This is a very easy way of dealing with a considerable amount of data that would take a very long time if you were to do it manually. And there you have it. 4,560 rows deleted. And it's as simple as that. So again, I'm going to roll back on that. And click OK and exit the tool. So once you've been running Audit Report tool consistently over a, a length of time, you might like to generate a summary report, which can either be in a graphical format or in text. So here we have all the audit reports that have been run against all of our OpenWorks projects on different dates. If I select all of them and then here select multiple projects and show latest, it will show all the latest reports that have been run. And then here I can generate a summary. But before I do that, under data setup, I'm just going to choose which items I'd like to see graphically and included in the report. Some wells. And here you are in linear scale, a graphic representation of the items that I chose under data setup. If I click on logarithmic, we get a slightly better view. And here is the data summary in text. OK, let's close this now. This next tool is fantastic, as it provides a solution to a problem that is common to every OpenWorks installation, the problem of data owned by a legacy interpreter ID, also referred to as a data source. This problem exists when team members finish working in a particular project leaving behind all the data they created and problematically still owned by them as far as the database is concerned. So this tool is called Data by Data Source. It reads the target OpenWorks project, finding every data item owned by every interpreter ID. This tool then allows us to choose a legacy data source and reallocate the data to a team member who is currently still working in the OpenWorks project. When we highlight an interpreter ID, data belonging to the data source appears on the right. We can click on an item, for example pick data, and choose the target ID to transfer ownership to. We also have the functionality to drill down on a data type by double clicking on it. If I double click on picks, I'm presented with all the wells the pick exists on for the interpreter ID. I can choose individual wells, if I like, and allocate them to different target data sources. We can also double-click on these picks and drill down further to see each individual pick data, which we can also reallocate. If we choose, we have the possibility to simply delete data items per ID if required. For a quick win, we can select all the data sources not in use and remove them from the database. Lastly, I'm going to show you Rock's Navigation Compare. For this tool, I'm going to select two different OpenWorks projects and analyze the similarities and differences against stored 2D navigation in each project. So here I have project 1 selected, and as soon as I select my second project, I immediately get a list of lines that are common to both projects. I can click on not in project 1 or not in project 2, and as you can see, there's no unique lines to either OpenWorks project. So looking at the common lines, I can say select all and compare selected lines. These errors seem to be different shot point ranges for the different lines. I also have the ability to export a KML file, 
which will work with Google Earth and also ArcGIS. I can also click on duplicates which shows me potential duplicates that would need investigation. And so that's the end of this information video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.